Now, my next guest is a classically trained violinist who also knows how to put a little funk in it. Take a listen. You hear that? That is her hip hop infused mashup that shot her to social media start and making classical remixes out of songs that artists like Megan Thee Stallion perform, Post Malone, Ariana Grande. Her incredible talent and her unique style have earned her the nickname Classical Bay and landed her huge collaborations with some of the biggest names in the business, including the one and only Stevie Wonder, Yo Yo Ma, and the great Kendrick Lamar. In 2018, she went from Beethoven to Beyonce when the Queen Bee herself invited her to share the stage for an unforgettable performance at Coachella. And joining us from her home in Lincoln, Nebraska, Azima, congratulations on all of this. This is what a story. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm not worthy to have my clarinet even on the same Zoom as you. Look at all of the <laughs> success that you've had. I love the fact that you were in college. You were in so many ways a late bloomer to this because you were set out on studying medicine, which is something your family wanted, but you had a pull of the string in a different direction. Yeah, you know, um, my father's West Indian, and in my household, music wasn't an option. So I actually pursued medicine in my undergraduate. And halfway through, I realized I was really doing this just to appease the expectations of my family. And I took a risk and followed my heart and chose music. And I think it's one of those things that was so scary to pick the starving artist life, but <laughs> it, um, I don't know, it's it's worked out beautifully. I'm I grateful. love it. Listen, I have the pleasure of surrounding myself with a lot of amazing West Indian parents and family members. How did you convince your West Indian family that this was going to work? And what do they think now when they see you with Stevie Wonder and others? You know, it, it's so funny. I actually live in New York, and right now I'm home with my family in Nebraska for a few weeks. And I told my dad that I was going to be on your show, and he's like, oh, like, you're really doing it, aren't you? <laughs> like what sticks out to him right and what is just kind of like oh whatever Beyonce whatever like <laughs> okay I love your dad see I told you I'm surrounded by some amazing West Indian people so he's in my tribe for sure how do you describe these mashups that you do I mean you because in a way you've created your own lane I know when you started out you said there weren't people who looked like you you didn't have a lot of role models that you could turn on television and see so you created your own lane here what do you call it how do you describe it so I would call it, um, I guess, classical trap or a fusion of classical and hip hop. Um, you know, for me growing up in a predominantly white space and playing an instrument that really exists in white spaces, I didn't see another violinist of color until I was 14 and I was able to go to Interlochen, which is a very prestigious arts academy. And I saw another brown person playing the violin and that changed everything. I called my mom immediately and was like, I'm not the only one who does this. And for me, I think a big part of what I wanna do is just enhance and increase the visibility so yeah. more kids of color can see people like me doing this. And, you know, I get emails and messages from kids who are in middle school and high school and elementary school and college saying, thank you so uh -huh. much. You know, I wanted to quit, but because of you, I know it's possible. I know I don't just have to stay in this little box, I but I can express that. myself. And yeah, it's very gratifying. It so. is just, be I mean, you're the kind of person we root for. I know when I first saw you, it was in that mask off challenge, Future, the, the performer rapper, I guess we consider him. Um, you know, you did the, the, the challenge, millions of people saw it. This is a great example of the power of social media. We talk about how many bad things happen, but when people saw that video of you, it went viral. Beyonce has called you. All of these great things have happened, but we want to see what you got here on the Tamron Hall Talent Show. And you're going to perform for us? Yes, yes. Okay. I'll be honored. What will you be performing? So I'm going to be playing a very old piece. It's uh, by a composer named Chartis. That's his last name. And it is a violin showpiece that is very flashy and bombastic and has a lot of spirit. So I thought I it'd be great. I love it. Well, sure. take it away.
That was, let me just tell you, I can't take my eyes off of you. The talent, the beauty, all of these things that you exude. And best of all, you've become the role model in the industry that you didn't have. And now kids watching now, their parents will play this. They'll see you. That's talent. Thank you so much. And give your West Indian family a big hug for me. I appreciate it.